over again on me. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I'm trying to get you guys live over here and the phone keeps falling down. So, okay. Oh. I tell you, technology is just not my thing. Oh, boy. When you guys, you should go back later and watch this on Facebook and see what the heck's going on. Okay. I think we're on. All right. We got yoga. We got Zoom. Um, okay. Jim and Margie are here now, too. Yep. They're... Back in Alaska. Uh, the yeah, they got the glaciers. All right. Okay, I'm checking where off. Okay, so, hey, fa um, Facebook folks, if you're here, um, give a like so that we know people are actually watching on Facebook, too. Otherwise, we can just Zoom. But um, if you're here doing yoga on Facebook, just hit the like button, too. Take a second, do that. All right. I think that's what I'm supposed to say, right, Alicia? Okay. All right, Alicia's monitoring me on this stuff. Okay, so... Yoga, yoga, here we go. Ready? Let's get it. Okay. Rocking chair, yeah, do yoga in your rocking chair. That's 10 o'clock, we can do yoga in the rock. <laughs> All right, let, let's do this. Oh, I gotta mute, mute you guys over there. Almost forgot, hold on. Mute, more. I'll unmute you afterwards. Oh. Mute all. Mute all. Okay, so you should be muted. You're muted. Okay. Don't unmute yourself, Cliff. I see you. <laughs> all right. All good. All right, let's settle in. Go ahead, find yourself whatever is comfortable for you this morning. It may look completely different. Um, Legs may be out, legs may be crossed. Whatever it takes to settle in. And really this morning when you sit down, feel your sitting bones, feel yourself really grounded. Go ahead, close your eyes. Let's begin by taking a big deep breath in through our nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out, just let it go. Big breath in. Open up, let it go. Do this for another three breaths on your own. Just really filling up, bringing in as much fresh air as you can. And then rinsing out, getting rid of all that stale air. And with each exhale, try to let go of something here that just doesn't belong. Any thoughts that are in your way this morning. Continue to relax your shoulders. Just continuing went out with your normal breath. Shoulders continue to drop down away from your ears and your sitting bones that you were just focusing on a moment ago. You really feel them pressing down into your mat, creating that long spine. So as you press down in your sitting bones, the crown of your head, the top of your head reaching on up the sky. And in between those shoulders again, relax down. Your belly pulls in. Relax your jaw. Maybe even opening up your mouth and then moving it from side to side. And then just gently shutting your mouth, feeling that little space between your teeth. Maybe a slight space between your lips.
and slowly open up your eyes. Bring our arms down by our sides and bring our arms up. Nice big breath in to start. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. One more, big breath in. And emptying out. That feels good to move. All right, so if we're sitting with your legs crossed, um, if you weren't that way, let's go ahead and try that now. Take that left hand over to your right knee. Right arm swings around right behind your tailbone as you pull your belly in, take a spinal twist. Notice if your eyes are darting around and just find that one spot. See where you can relax. And with that belly pulled in towards the spine, come on back to center. Cross your right arm over and a nice curl here. Really feel that space between your shoulder blades. So if you take a little bit of a gentle rock and roll, rolling around on those sitting bones that you were so firmly planted on, maybe just lifting up one and then the other. Notice here that grip on your knees. You don't wanna have like a death grip, but just maybe a little tug. You'll notice something different. For me, um, I feel a little bit more like on my back left side than I do on my right. Could be different for you. All right, take a nice big inhale, sit on up. Exhale, belly pulls in, spinal twist to your left. Relaxing those shoulders down. And notice where your mind is going here. Just bring it back to your breath, bring it back to your gaze. Maybe you can twist a little bit deeper. Belly pulls in as you inhale. Come on back to center. Cross your arm over and another curl with your spine. Again, observing what you feel different here. And you can go ahead and move around or you can take stillness. Whatever your body's calling out. So as always, I encourage you to listen to your body. I'm just giving you suggestions of poses to do. So if you you feel like doing something completely differently, then go for it. All right, let's inhale, sit on up nice and tall. Maybe a couple circles with our shoulders. Getting in. Maybe moving our neck back and forth just a little here. Whatever movements you need to get the quirks out. All right, let's come on to all fours. Into table. So stack those joints, your wrists, elbows, shoulders from the top down. Hips over knees. And let's just take some cat and cow curls. So inhale, lift on up. Exhale, curl your spine. Really trying to feel that space in the vertebrae. Inhale. Exhale. In. 
inhale, lifting up, opening your chest, your throat. Exhaling, emptying it all out. Notice where else you feel this, maybe in the front by your ribs as you open. And then let's all meet together, neutral spine. Bring our knees wide, outside edges of your mat, big toes come together to touch. Sink back, drop your hips down towards your heels and into child's pose. So our wide-legged child's pose again opens up our hips. See if you can melt your hips a little bit more closer down towards your heels. Reach your fingers long and wide onto your mat, so maybe your pinkies even hang off. This will open up your shoulders a little bit more. And then drop that belly again down towards the mat. Feel your chest rising and falling. On your next inhale, come on back into table and stacking those joints. And then bring your left leg on up. I'm gonna do a little opposite this time. Left leg, nice big circles with that left hip. So try to keep your hips still square to the mat as you're doing this. And you can make as big or little circles as you want. Keep that neck in line, change directions. Keep those hands pressed into the mat. And then bring it on down and change sides. Make sure you continue to breathe. Notice if you're holding your breath. Change sides whenever you want or stay in a spot. All right, bring it on down. Curl our toes under. Press your hands into the mat, the triads of your hands into the mat. Curl your toes. We're going into down dog. So if you need to adjust your hands wider, your feet wider, you want to have your feet hip width apart, lifting your tailbone on up to the ceiling, and then take your shoulders and sho slide your shoulders down away from your ears here so you've got more space again between those shoulders. Pull your belly in, soft bend to your knees. Gaze is right between your toes. of breaths here. Right. Now something a little different. Take your feet wide to the outside edges of your mat and your hands are to the outside edges of your mat. So you're really wide in this pose here. And then you're going to take your right hand, just bring it on over to your left calf and we're just going to take a little stretch here. So you should just be on that left hand, your right arms reached around. All right, bring your right arm back down and swap sides. So your left arm reaches, just grabs a hold of that left outside edge of your left leg. Bring your left hand back around, bring your feet back together and drop on down to your knees. And then bring your forearms to the mat we're going to do dolphin or puppy or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. They all have different names. So our forearms are down. Our fingers are spread wide on the mat. And then we're just going to lift up again 
our sitting bones here up to the sky. So this is taking the pressure off of our wrist. All right, drop it on down, bring your knees together and sink those heels back, take child's pose. And circle your wrists here. And relax. Inhale, come on back up into table. And we're going to get going right on moving a little bit this morning. So curl your toes, bring your hips on up. So we're back in down dog. And then step your right foot to your right thumb. However many steps it takes to get you there. If you need to drag it up there, I know we don't have each other in the room to help us. But however it takes, get that right foot into runner's lunge. Try to drop that left hip a little bit so it's square. Keep your spine long and then your gaze is going to kind of lift up towards the front part of your mat, still in line with your spine. Drop your back knee down, uncurl your back toes and then sit on back stretching that hamstring. So try to keep your spine tall and I know our shoulders tend to want to hunch over. See if we can bring them down again and back. Just our hamstring we're stretching. Foot is flexed. Y'all look good over there. All right, let's rock on forward and then bring that right leg back. And then we're going to curl our toes under again back into down dog. And then step that left foot forward into runner's lunge, so whatever it takes to get you there. You can make all of these little adjustments. Try not to let your head hang. Keep that head again in line with your spine. And now drop your back knee, uncurl your back toe, and sit on back with that front foot flexed. All right, rock on forward. We're gonna bring that left leg around. And let's curl our toes under. This time we're going to just, whatever we got to do, get yourself to the front of your mat. We're going to take a forward fold. So your feet, really feel your feet grounding down. Lift and spread your toes and then put them on your mat. Really bend your knees. If you really need to be bent with your knees super bent, that's fine. And then let everything hang so your spine is just long. You can let your neck, it's like those bobble heads, maybe just kind of shake it out a little. So there's many options here. If you want, you can leave your hands down on the ground. You can grab opposite elbows. You can even maybe take some rocking back and forth, just swaying your body. Some people like to grab behind their legs. Just notice if you're rocking into your heels and rock a little bit more towards, towards the um, mounds, your toe mounds. You don't want to grip the mat with your toes. Just try to find that balance. And now slowly lift your tailbone up, maybe a little bit higher to the ceiling. Drop your head a little bit more. And 
And then if your arms are, um, just release your arms if you clasped anything. And then very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna lift ourselves on up. Let your body just hang heavy, feel each of those spaces. And then come on up, we're standing. Mandatory clothing adjustment for everyone too, I know that. All right, so what shall we do? How about um, crescent moons? So bring our arms on up, big breath in, sink your shoulders, bring our feet together, inhale, exhale to the right. So you may need to put a little bit more pressure into that left foot and all along that left side, you should feel this really yummy stretch. Try to bring your arms back so you're looking at your bicep if you were to gaze on up. So you don't wanna be leaning forward. Let's see how tall and straight we can continue to be. Notice your breath here, if you're holding your breath. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale to the left. Maybe a little bit more gas into that right foot now. Opening up your whole right side body. Hear those birds this morning, they're pretty awesome. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, arms wide all the way down to the back. You're gonna press on your, your sacrum right here. You bring your elbows as though they almost wanna to try to get in towards one another. Shoulders still drop down. Your feet are together here. And then really press on in your hips. Open up your chest. Make sure you're not holding your breath, just really breathe. Soft bend in your knees. Gaze right up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, let's come forward, bend your knees. We're gonna fold right on over those thighs. So again, if you really need to bend your, your knees, go for it. Let it all hang heavy. Put your hands on your shins. Inhale, take a halfway lift. So create a long spine here, the crown of your head, that top of your head, pushing towards the front of your room, your tailbone towards the back. Again, your knees have that soft bend. Shoulders draw away from your ears. Gaze right down in front of you, right to the floor. Breath in. Exhale, fold. Right back down again. Notice how that weight distribution is again on your feet. If you're rocking more towards your heels, if you can shift a little towards the ball mounds of your feet again, without grasping the mat with your toes, On your next inhale, bring your arms wide all the way up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to prayer through heart center. Nice. Little smile in between. Perfect. Arms on down. We're going to do it again and swap sides. So we're going to go to the left this time. Inhale, lift on up. Sink those shoulders. Clasp your hands. Inhale, exhale to the left. Really feel your breath, nice good breaths, in and out. With everybody on mute, I can't hear everyone's breathing, so I'm gonna trust you're all breathing. Inhale, lift on up, back to center, sink those shoulders again. Exhale and to the right. Inhale, come forward. 
Exhale all the way down, really press in, find those sweet spots there. Separate your feet a little. I don't know if I mentioned that last time. So you're gonna separate those feet. Elbows press in towards one another, chest opens up, press your hands on in. Open your throat, your chest, that heart center. See if you can drop your shoulders even more back. I don't know if that was good English. It's fine. Inhale. Exhale, bend those knees, come on all the way forward. Let yourself hang. You wanna let your head Shake out your head here too, there's an option. Look at whatever's calling to you. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Again, inhale, nice full inhale, create your length. On your exhale, fold forward. Inhale, walk all the way up. Hands to prayer, right on through. Namaste, excellent. Breath in, breath out. So close your eyes here for just a moment. Press your thumb knuckles into your sternum, into your chest there. Notice how you're feeling right here in this moment. Your heart's maybe pounding a little bit more. Your breath is quickened. Maybe just feel really good. And if you don't, that's okay. All right, then let's bring our arms down by our sides. Head to the backs of your mat. And we'll do a couple of our warriors. We all love our warriors. So before we head to warrior, let's find our mountain, our Tadasana, um, both feet, 12 o'clock, rooted down into the ground, shins are hugging in, soft bend to your knees, pelvis is at neutral, arms drop on down, ribs knit in, crown of the head lifting up. And we are going to take Crescent Warrior this morning. So step your right foot forward, a good, as wide as you can go, just straight forward. We've got two feet on train tracks. And then wherever you feel comfortable, we're gonna keep those hips, continue to keep them square, just like we were just a moment ago. Bring our arms down by our side. Let's really open up our chest this morning here too. So maybe you can sink lower. Bring that back heel up a little bit. And now clasp your hands behind you and draw them down and away. So we're gonna open on up our chest. We got some balancing going on here, but we're really gonna focus on that chest opening. You gone up to the ceiling. Embrace those wobbles. Release your arms, come on back to Tadasana. And then lift your both arms straight up ahead, sink your shoulders and fingers spread wide. Breath in, breath out. Again, breath in, breath out. One more big breath in. Exhale, bring your arms on down, step yourself back to the edge of your mat. How was that, good? That was a good one, I think. Okay, we'll do that again. Other side now. So left foot forward, 12 o'clock. You're gonna notice what we've got going on on this side. Bring our arms on down. 
If you take your hands to your hips, you can kind of notice again what those hips are doing. So we don't want them too far forward. We don't want them too far back. Just find yourself right in the center. Bring those arms, Tadasana, by our side. Feel that separation, again, between your shoulders and your neck. And then go ahead, if you can, you can clasp your hands behind you. If you have straps at home or a towel, or you want to use something like that, that's also an option too. Makes it a little more accessible. Shoulders down. And then open on up that chest. Gaze on up to the ceiling. Arms back down by your sides. And on your next inhale, lift them on up, sink your shoulders down. Maybe you sink a little bit more into those legs. Maybe they're wobbling or maybe they're shaking. Just kind of notice what your legs are doing. Big breaths in, breath out, again, big breath in, and out, last one, big breath, exhale, arms come down, step yourself on back to the back edge of your mat, bring ourselves just in hands to prayer, close your eyes down. Notice what's going on here in your body now. That one got my heart thumping a little bit. So we just bring the breath in. All right, arms on down by our side. And step that right foot forward again, however you get there. Your back foot is going to go parallel to your mat. Your front foot, you wanna make sure your knee doesn't go past your ankle and that you can continue to see your big toe. So maybe your knee will kind of nudge out a little to the right. You don't want it caving in and you'll feel on the inside. That back foot roots on down to the ground, the back edge. And then lift our arms on up, shoulders sink down, and kind of like a little tug of war feeling with somebody reaching in both hands. Get their stoffis. There's this feta and suka, it's an effort and ease. Gaze shifts right over that front middle finger. And now take that back arm and you're just going to rest it in the crook of your back. Your palm can be facing behind you. We're going to flip our front palm up and we're going to take a proud warrior here. So lift them up right to the ceiling. Big breath in and out. Again, breath in. Exhale, bring your hand back. Bring your other arm back. So we're back in our warrior two. And now slowly begin to straighten that front leg, drawing your back hip back. Right arm reaches, reach till you can't reach any farther. And then just drop that right arm down, left arm up into triangle. Again, if you have your block, this is a good spot to put your block. You can also use your leg, just don't press on your leg and certainly don't press on your knee. If you want more core action, then just straight, really stretch both arms. Your head is also reaching towards the front of your mat. That left hip continues to roll over and stack over your right hip. Notice your breath. Inhale, slowly bring yourself on up. Bring your hands to your hips. 
We've got both legs are nice and wide on our mat now. Big breath in. Exhale with your knees softly bent, fold on all the way forward. And you can drop your arms on down to the mat. Check your toes. Maybe you want to bring your um, toes in a little bit more so we're not um, pigeon-toed, or you are pigeon-toed, rather. Inhale, lift all the way up. Oh, you're all going to be loving me now. So, <laughs> we're going to point our toes um, outwards. So your knees are in line with your toes. And... We're standing up nice and tall here. Bend your knees, sink on back, just like you're sliding your back onto a wall. So we're gonna take goddess. Keep edging your knees back. We're gonna feel right, nice stretch here. Arms come out by our side, and then bend your elbows. So notice if your toes just did this automatic thing and they wanted to grip onto the mat with all of their might, and lift your toes on up. And then put your toes on back down. Notice where your knees just collapsed in. Keep bringing your knees out. All right, now just for some fun, we're going to straighten our legs up. Reach your arms long, five-pointed star. And then inhale. Exhale, sink back down to goddess. One more time, inhale, lift on up. Exhale, sink back down. Release that toe grip again. I say that because that's one of my defaults too. All right, last one, inhale. And let's bring our feet on in. We'll take a break in between if you wanna maybe just rub your legs out, bring your hands to prayer. Big breath in, exhale, let it go. All right, back to the top of your mat. We'll do that on the other side if I can remember what we did. I'm gonna go to this end here so you can see me on this side. All right, so what do we do? Left foot forward. We've got our warrior two we're building here. Back foot flat. Yeah, we're gonna open up our hips here. So warrior two, check that front knee. Again, make sure it's not collapsing. Back arm comes tucked behind your back. Front palm flips on up and lift on up, proud warrior. Keep pressing the back edges of your foot. You equal pressure in both legs. Here we're just feeling that nice stretch, probably in a lot of places. If you keep pushing that um, forearm into your back, giving a little more support. Breath in, exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, come back to our warrior two. Gaze right over that front middle finger. Let's take a good two to three breaths right here. Again, feeling that effort and ease. So what's efforting and where can you soften that doesn't need to be right now? Slowly begin to straighten that front leg. Draw that right hip back. Left arm reaches forward as far as you can reach. And then just drop that arm. Right arm comes up and maybe your gaze follows right to the ceiling. Again, right hip stacking over that left hip. If you want to put your hand on your leg, not on your knee. Next, inhale, come on all the way forward. Spin your feet on in. Let's come back to center. Take a deep breath in. 
exhale. Yeah, let's do some balancing poses. We haven't done those in a while. Uh, let's start with tree. So this is great. Just pretend nobody can see you over there. Who's really? Um, both feet facing 12 o'clock, hips width apart. Let's play with our balance here. So we feel both, both feet are carrying weight equally right now. Hands onto your hips. Shift that weight over to your left foot and bend your right knee. Slowly bring that right, the bottom of that right foot either onto your calf or you can use your hand to assist yourself up onto your thigh. Keep nudging that right knee back. Find your drishti. So the, uh, the key to these balancing poses is your gaze straight ahead. Checking in line with your hips. Maybe your hands are at prayer or maybe you grow your tree. So really press that foot into your leg, your leg into your foot, and it can be anywhere. Again, just keep it off your knee. Do not push onto any knees. And if you fall on out, just come back in, no big deal. And some days we just keep falling out and that's okay. All right, we're gonna say forget that side, right? All right, let's clear it on out. Breath in, breath out. Arms on down. Set yourself up with your feet again, really rooting down. Feel that shift over to that right foot. Left leg's completely empty. Gaze straight ahead, horizon or above. And lift that leg on up. So what you do on one side doesn't necessarily dictate that you have to do it on the other. So if you were up or down before, it's whatever you feel like right now in this moment. Bring your arms on down. Maybe arms come to prayer, your hands to prayer. And maybe you grow your tree or you stay where you are. Just embrace all of those wobbles. Good stuff. Notice if you're holding your breath, just breathe. Breath in. Hands back to prayer and back down. All right, let's try dancer this morning because that'll be fun. All right. So wherever you are, um, just make sure you have room on your mat. We're not going to kick anybody because you're all at home. So that's a good thing. It's not, but it is. Okay. Um, both feet, 12 o'clock, setting up our mountain again. In dancer, actually, I'll do it forward for you. Um, we're going to shift that weight again over to your left foot. So that right foot empties out. Bend your knee. And then we're going to externally rotate that shoulder so you feel it open. And if you can catch that leg, that foot. Flex your foot, really press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. Maybe you stay here or maybe you hinge forward. If you have a wall, you can use a wall. There's an option here, I don't know if you'd see me if I use the wall. But we can, you can use the wall and that'll help get an assist for you. Just continue to drop that right hip down. Yeah, walls are a good thing. So don't ever be afraid to use a wall. I'm sure at home you've got more walls than we do at the Senior Center for Space there. We got a lot of windows there. All right, that was fun. Change size. So shifting weight, feeling it both on both feet. Shift on over to your right. Left arm again, externally rotating, left knee bend. If you need to catch your pants, whatever it is you catch, however you get there, no one's judging. Right arm lifts on up and hinge on forward.
gaze straight ahead. Keep breathing. And release. Nice job. All right, how are we looking on time? Okay, moving along. Um, so we're gonna get on down to the mat, do a couple more asanas, and then um, I'll leave you all to do your own shavasana because we do have chair yoga coming on at 10. So I wanna make sure you all get as much as we can get in here. So let's sit with our soles of our feet together. Your Baddha Konasana. And you can kind of grab on in, drop those knees on down to the ground. Shoulders dropping down and back. Close your eyes. Stretch your right leg long, left leg tucks on in, the left foot meets the inside of your right thigh. Flex your right foot. You can bend your knee if, if it makes it easier. Again, if you have those straps at home and you wanna use your straps, opt in for those too. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, fold on forward. So create that long spine. Keep your spine as long as you can here, not necessarily hunching on over, but that long, long, long spine. And then maybe you can sink a little bit more with each exhale. Inhale, lift on up, change sides, left leg reaches long, right sole of your um, right foot comes on in. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold. And draw those shoulders down away from your ears. on all the way up. Stretch both legs long. We're going to take a reverse table this morning. I'm not sure if we've done this one in class or not, but we'll just make it up. It's fine. Um, your fingers are going to go to the opposite edges of your mat. Your palms are facing inward there. Bend your knees, bring them on in, and we're just going to lift our hips on up. Gaze is straight up. And breathe. And let's drop your bum on down. And I think we've done fish before too, so let's try. Um, legs come long. We're gonna tuck our hands right underneath our sitting bones. Our elbows come in, and you're done. Let's drop on down back. Flex your feet, and then maybe your head drops back. Another little chest throw opener here. And let's lift your head on up. You can remove your arms as gracefully as you can. Go ahead and flop yourself onto your back. Bring your soles of your feet together here. Maybe lift your sitting bone up and then place it back down again. One hand on your heart center, one hand on your belly. Really feel your breath here. Bring your hands to the outsides of your thighs. Use them to press your legs back together. And then make a, um, a little happy baby here. So grabbing the outside edges of your feet Sinking your hips on down. Sh 
shoulders relaxed, jaws relaxed, feet are flexed. Maybe your thighs melt a little bit more down towards the ground. Release your arms, bring your knees on into your chest, give yourself a big hug. Maybe take some rocking and rolling. You can do whatever you need to do now for the next few moments. And then when you're ready, go ahead and um, take Shavasana. Um, since we won't be doing Shavasana together to end, I do have our quote. I do have our quote. Um, Make someone smile every day, but never forget that you are someone too. So I will leave you all. Thank you and namaste. Have a great day. And we have chair yoga at 10. As I crawl on all fours here to turn this off, there we go, finish.